Anyone remember the coachman's horrific grin in Pinocchio, followed by the painful looking donkey transformation? What about the infamous segment from Fantasia with the enormous demon on Bald Mountain? Or the scene where Bambi's mother gets shot, that scared us to this day? If you were frightened by any of the above scenes, or any other similar scene in a family film, be thankful you never saw The Gateway to Hell, from Illumination Entertainment. Never heard of it? Nobody has. Well, except me of course. The film was supposed to be kept hush hush for multiple reasons. The film was similar to The Blair Witch Project, only with a few Tribe 12 similarities thrown here and there, only instead of Slender Man and his proxies, it has demons in it. How they got the film lost, is a mystery. The only way to find it is through a set of red binary codes on a black background. The code in one of them is, as follows. 00000010101001010. I know this is the binary number of the beast, but it's the only way to find the film, and download it onto your internet. I did the same thing, and my god is it horrible. I can't post what I just saw on here, but all I could say, is that what I saw, is truly grotesque, insane, unnerving, and bestial. But all I could remember seeing, is the movie's backstory. It was about a group of teenage brothers making a homemade horror film about ghouls and madmen. But accidentally ran deep into the woods to find an oak tree fallen over, revealing a large hole in the ground. A monstrous demon climbed out of the hole and grabbed one of the brother's ankles, and pulled him in with the boy screaming in horror. Now the other brothers, one of them holding the video camera, has to go down and find him. The first few minutes of the film was animated in the typical illumination style similar to the secret life of pets and despicable me. After the brothers went down to hell, and yes, they did refer to it as just that, it suddenly switched to a more twisted and surreal appearance, similar to that scene from Disney's Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs where Snow White ran frantically through the haunted forest. I still remember how hell was depicted in the film perfectly. It was similar to the horror game Agony. The rocks looked like skulls, and the trees looked like hands. The latter constantly reached over and tried to grab the brothers, as they ran through all of this with a terrified expression. The demons they encountered were the most terrifying things I've ever seen. I even took a snapshot of one of them, and this is what I saw. I don't remember most of the other obstacles they encountered, save for the Flash Guzzler. The Flash Guzzler is a 10 foot tall being that almost looks like the troll from Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone, except Grey. And not to mention that he is covered in human blood. True to his name, he had a cage full of tortured people, and he would open the cage, pull out a frightened person, pop him or her into his mouth, and chew them up with the sound of crunching bones. I even remember him wiping away blood in one shot. There was also the devil himself. He was the worst of them all. He resembled the depiction from the paintings of Dante and Virgil, but he wasn't trapped in ice, he was sitting on his throne, watching people burn, scream, and being whipped with a sickening pleasure on his face, or faces. I remember the devil and its minions tossed a severed head around in one scene, as the demons made gargling growling sounds, the devil even petted his pet Cerberus like a man with his dog. This is what I recorded from the above scenes I described. After it got to the scene where the brothers finally makes it to where the devil is keeping their brother, my sister came in and saw what was going on in the movie. Then she noticed me looking petrified as I continued to stare at the screen. I think she then realized this film was too much for me, as I finally shut the movie off from my laptop. I sat there, sweating from fright. I never saw or heard anything like this. But I still remember that film explicitly well, even months later, as I write this story to you now. I was indeed frightened, but I was also drawn into it, like a moth to a flame. If you have downloaded the code, and downloaded the film, please provide proof of some kind. Like a YouTube video of the film, just so that I can show the world that I'm not crazy. If you want to watch the film yourself, be my guest. Good luck watching it. You're gonna need it.